guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i make my moby bar so for this recipe i have here some fennel seeds i have here one bay leaf some star anise two cinnamon sticks i have here two cloves and about two cups of moby bar so you want to put all of these to boil together to my pot of water I have about five cups of water in there. I'm gonna go in my moby bar and my star anise. You wanna boil your moby until it reaches about a quarter, and then we're gonna load on back the heat to medium high because I want all of those flavors boil together so I'm gonna cover it guys my moby has been boiling now for about an hour as you can see where the mark was right here I'm gonna take it out now and let it cool down and then I'm gonna strain it it's time to strain once the moby cool down you can add orange peel to this as well as you are boiling it. And you can leave this overnight to get a stronger flavor. Once you're finished, you could add it to a other jar or you could add it to put it in a mug. And leave it into into the fridge because it's very concentrated. Next into my mug, I'm gonna go in with some almond essence. You can use vanilla essence as well. I'm gonna go in with some Angostura bitters. You can find this at your local supermarket. I'm gonna go in with some white sugar. Next, I'm gonna go in with some moby. I'm gonna stop there and mix it in. You wanna taste it to make sure it have enough sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a little more. Do not want to add in too much. I could always adjust it at the end. Mix. And you want to serve this with some ice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Moby drink. You could always adjust your sugar to your liking. And how much Moby concentrated that you like. So, I'm going to be tasting it. See how it tastes. It have enough sugar in there for me, for my liking. I hope you guys enjoyed today's beverage. I'll see you guys another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!